Yeah. How's your vision now? Are you 2020? Bro, the site's compromised, but the vision's better. <laughs> yeah. Yancey's hilarious. The That's what. <laughs> the vision's <laughs> clear. It's vivid, bro. Oh, uh, some shit. Some people see something, but they ain't got vision, bro. Oh, right, bro, right. Way no, I hear you. <laughs> Let me tell you something about Andrew. This is my boy right here. You disrespect him, you're disrespecting me. Inside fighting. Shout out to inside fighting. Thank you for joining us on the Fight Season Podcast. We have Yancey Medeiros here, a UFC veteran, Bellator fighter. Fights next weekend, April 22nd. What's cracking, bro? Nothing much, bro. As I said, woke up on an island. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know. Not, not much to complain about, bro. I can see the sun peering in right there. It looks like a nice uh, sunny yeah. day in Hawaii. Bro, yeah, it's been. It's been great. And hopefully it goes all the way through to next week. Yeah, I was talking to Nate the other day, like like probably like a week ago, and he was telling me when he, when he went out there recently, he was chilling with you on the beach. Um, yeah, yeah. He said you live right across the street from the beach. I I was born, yeah, not anymore. I live more central in Oahu, but oh, okay. yeah, I was born and raised like literally walk across the beach, two minute walk. Oh, sick, sick. Then, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, but he yeah. but he was saying he was saying that you don't really go to the beach much. Is that true? Nah, man. I mean, I do and I don't, but like when it goes to like the tourist areas or the beaches, it's like oh, right. I go beach. Like I go beach. Oh, you go to the beach, like, all right? Because <laughs> you, you know, I don't, fucking, I'm, I don't surf much. You know what I mean? But right. I'm, I'm a water kid, always. Yeah. Right, because yeah. they they say people who live by the beach don't go to the beach often. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Have you guys heard that? Oh, that, yeah. I, mean, I think I think I could go away more because I live there. You know what I mean? I live closer to it. Yeah, I don't go. I wouldn't go to the beach as often as he would. You yeah. don't live there. <laughs> <laughs> this what what part of uh, Hawaii yeah, are you yeah. in? What part of Hawaii are you in? Excuse me. What part of Hawaii I are live you in? Yeah, that's the central part. Oh, uh, okay. I am. I was yeah. born and raised in Iel. The city nice. of Iel. Yeah, it's like it's like central of Oahu. Born and raised in Makahiro. That's West Side. That's where that's where me and Max is from. Gotcha. Yeah, you, Max, and BJ, some of the best, uh, well, probably the best Hawaiian fighters of all time to come out of Hawaii. Best fighters ever come oh, out of thank Hawaii. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Yeah. Hey. Uh, we just want to represent, bro. <laughs> now, now, you're 1-0 in Bellator, Yancey. Uh, you're facing Charles Leary. How do, how do you see this fight going down next Saturday? Man, I want to just get in there and kill. Like, I, never, I, was, I wasn't upset with my last fight, but I wanted a finish. You know, I was looking right. for a finish, and I'm paid to. I'm paid to entertain, so I want to keep that engagement. And right. yeah, I mean, you know, work on what I did last year, take less damage, give out more, and get a better, get a good finish. I mean, that's pretty much the intentions. Kill or be killed, bro. Right. Hey, your your last fight was super exciting, though. You uh, uh yeah, the fans yeah. were on their feet, so, and, and it was in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, I was back at home, so I had um a year layoff just because I had some injuries I had to address. I had, like, torn retina and shit. Oh, yeah, that's um, right. After the fight, I, had, I ended up getting a torn retina, so I had surgery for that. And, you know, Bellator um, booked me this year again after, after it fully recovered. It, yeah. How's your vision now? Are you 2020? Bro, the site's compromised, but the vision's better. <laughs> yeah. Yancey's hilarious. The that's what. <laughs> the vision is vivid, bro. Oh, uh, uh, shit. Some people see something, but they ain't got vision, bro. Oh, right, bro, right. No, I hear you. <laughs> hey, that's wisdom, though. You hear that one? The sight, the sight is compromised, but the vision that, is That was clear. deep. That was I like deep. that. Yeah. Yeah. I had to. I mean, like, learning, like, Bro, you could never. I'm my my eyes never gonna be the same ever again. So oh wow! It was a real humbling lesson. Yeah, you know, like you're my bro. After like a month after my surgery, I went I went back to hitting mitts, and I'm like hitting my coach in the jaw. Like you know, just oh shit, oh your, wow, your depth of perception changes. Right. You know what I mean, it's so dramatic. So I was like, oh, all right. I'm gonna take this lesson because psychologically it messes with you. You're like, oh, you know, what can I do? And I'm like. Oh, I know what I gotta do to get better. I right. gotta, I gotta work on my footwork. I gotta work on things where I can just, I, I might not be able to see as good, but I know I can um get better and everything else around that. So I really honed in myself, all my injuries, all these things that I, I guess looked past or didn't really keen in on. So like now my footwork, my boxing, everything's just I feel is much more crisp because yeah, I have to slow shit down. D does it you know, almost? I can't always go on the pedal because. It, huh? 
sorry, does it almost help you like focus more in a way? Never, does it almost help you focus like a little bit more? Oh, yeah. Oh, it had to. I had to. I had to get more. I had to get more in depth mentally, you know, in the IT right. part and thinking and not, not being as emotional. Because they were, like I said, my, my perception changed. My depth, everything was just so different. So I was like, oh, I'm going to slow things down and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure I, I, I get better at this. And for some reason, everything just started coming together. I started training with all max them more. And they're like, bro, yeah, so you hit harder, you move better. You're seeing things, you're seeing things, you know what I mean? Before it happens, you're funneling. So I was like getting good feedback. So Right. Your perception's you back. Know right. Your you're, perception's you're... better. Oh, it's better. <laughs> now, 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 when yeah. you're at the bar scoping the honeys, are you, are you, are you, are you, are you is it hard for you to tell a dime <laughs> between a, a five and a dime? Or can you still like. Uh, no, I mean, oh, no, bro. I, 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 I'm scoping on women is never a problem. <laughs> uh, I'm a very good observer. <laughs> You're very upset. I'm just saying because you got one eye. Yeah, you now. don't got beer goggles all the time, right? Uh, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, what is that called? They call it the um, the California California sober. Oh right. Oh shrooms. okay. I don't do alcohol. I do the shrooms. You know. Right. I've lived in California yeah, my whole life. I've never heard that term. Right. Yeah, bro. California yeah, sober sober. means weed and and uh, alcohol. Oh, okay. all weed right. And like beers. Hey, what up, Yancy? Like psychedelics. Oh, psychedelics too. Yeah. Yeah. Organics. Yeah. Yeah, hey, oh, oh yeah, so I forgot to introduce. We have, we have our research guy over here in the corner, Dante Greco. He used to work with us. The, all these guys well, worked at Team Z with us. What up, Yancy? Hey, uh, I see on yeah. your Instagram you drink a lot of coffee. Does that make you shit a lot? Oh, in the day, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> you know, just one time. Dumb when question. Like, when you got a good rhythm, bro, you only do it once. You only do it one time in a day. You know, My like, bad. So for I sure, drink for coffee sure. Coffee right in the morning, and then we're good. Hey, I don't, you, I don't live you know, do, do you I, have that I, Kona I coffee? I, I see it at the airport a lot. I see that Kona brand coffee from yeah, Hawaii. It is, but it's all green, bro. Like, fortunately, I'm I'm not like a coffee connoisseur. Like, I, I can taste the flavor of shit. Yeah. But, bro, I'll, on a rough day, I'll go to Starbucks. You know what I mean? Give me an espresso. I'm just trying. I'm team me. I don't get into, oh, I'll get this brand, that brand. I'm like, oh, this fucking coffee's fire. Honestly, oh, not too much. But if you follow, sense, it's all yeah. team me. Yeah. If you, <laughs> if you like follow Yancey Madero's on Instagram, he uh, every day he has an espresso. Oh, okay. Is, is, yeah. is it a double shot or a triple shot? Or? Doubles. Double for sure. Doubles. That's from Nick and Nate, though. That, yeah. that, was in, that was engraved in me. from. I learned that from Nick and Nate. They made me call a coffee drinker for sure. Oh, coffee drinker. Okay, yeah, yeah. It helps yeah. out with everything. I drink yeah. coffee too. Oh, no, too because when I me. moved, when I was living with them, like, we'd go wake up in the morning, like, all right, let's go run. And when they say run, that's like five miles minimal. Yeah. Right? And I'm like, I'm not a runner. I'm like freaking 215 pounds at that time, you know? And he's, they're just like, oh, I'm like. What does these guys do? We just practiced all fucking night, slept like three hours. Like, where are we going? Like, you know? Right. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I see Nick doing coffee. I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, it shit works. <laughs> it like crap. It tastes horrible. But yeah, I'm running. Right. You know, I'm running. I never used to smoke or anything too. And I'm like, hey, we finish our run. And they're like, all right, bro, we're going to get ready for practice. I'm like, wait, what? We just, we just ran. Just you know ran. what I mean? And I just see them all <laughs> choking up. I'm like, Ah, I get it, because this is hell, and we need to make the best of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> hilarious. Bro, like, <laughs> yeah, the weed does make the best out of it. Hey, can you X yeah, yourself out on that box? Yeah. yeah, I can. So well, that, here. Was the, that was the start of my coffee and weed consumption. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, so you're talking about Nick and Nate. You, Everyone knows you're, you're good friends with the Diaz brothers. Just yesterday, it was announced he's Nate is fighting Jake Paul, huge fight. Hell man. yeah, hell yeah, Ooh. hell yeah. What, what, what do you so think? Like, what's your what's your initial reaction when you hear that one of your best buds is, is going to be uh, MMA legend is now boxing? Well, you know, Jake Paul. That, that for me, that was inevitable. I mean, Nate's the Nate Nate's the money fight. Anybody that fights with Nate is gonna is gonna draw eyes because he's a real individual. You know, he's the he's the antihero, right? He's like the venom. In Marvel, right? He doesn't want to be a hero. He's not there to do that. He just does, and everybody fucking likes him, like you know, because he's he's a real individual. But as soon as I seen that card, I was like, I want to get on that card, right? <laughs> and no, no, I I, so, I seen you posted on your stories. You're saying you know you're gonna be yeah. boxing soon. Well, I mean, I, that's that's definitely the the funnel to it, and I'd like to definitely represent Nick Diaz Academy and Real Fight Real Fight Inc. and you yeah. know in that situation and. Put another chapter, add another um, 
chapter or start another chapter of my my fight career. Yeah, it only it only makes sense to have, to have you on the prelims on on the card, you know. Um, oh yeah, I, I mean yeah, on, yeah. On, not on the prelims the, on the open. card. I meant. Yeah, prelims too. I'll be the opener. No, no, no. Any, anywhere from a co-main event to an opener is right. Yeah, I, I just regardless if I wasn't fighting, I'm still gonna be there. You know what mm. I'm saying? So if I can just get Might on that well card, that's even more so. Like, yeah, I just. But like I said, it was inevitable. Like he's the money fight. I, I think from this, it's only gonna go up from here for for Nate, especially. You know, and he's smart. He's he knows how he knows what he knows what trains to um trains to jump on and what trains to start or what tracks to start on. I mean, right. he, he, everything he does is a calculated risk, bro. You know, he doesn't do anything where it's just a gamble. No, no. And yeah, I just, I learned so much from him. I, I just learned like every time everyone asks me shit about Nate and I'm always like, I, the business part, I don't even really talk to him. It's like my brother. Like, Hey, what is your well being, bro? I like make sure you heal with like, you know, everybody else trying to talk to him about that. As soon as I see him training and doing all that stuff, I read the moves. I right. know what's going down, and then boom! All of a sudden, the announcement. Now, are, are so, you vegan? Yeah, are to... you are you vegan because of Nick and Nate, or you were vegan before you? Yeah, definitely. No, nah, no, they they made me plant based. Um, plant based. That was the guys that gave me the red pill for sure. Sick. She kind of showed me what not to eat. Yeah. And then I, yeah, I just that was the part of my. I'd say at first it was just to be a ninja, you know what I mean, be healthy, and then now it's just a, my lifestyle. Yeah. First, was, oh, I gotta eat good because I gotta fight. I gotta fight hard. No, it's like, nah, I gotta eat good because I want, I like having sex, bro. You try to have sex with some illness, <laughs> inflammation, bro. That shit is shitty. Right, right. Just... I be doing that till I'm 60, 70. You know? I was like, I eat plants, bro. <laughs> my flow is, my flow is. Hey, hey, <laughs> you know I mean? hey, yeah. hey, Yancey, t- talking about sex, you plan on you plan on having sex until what age? So as, most men, you know, they, they stop around their 60s, I guess. But, you know, we all plan on fucking till we're 80, right? Bruh. That's what bro, I'm saying. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pro-life, bro. Pro-life. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't here for, I ain't here for a long time. I'm here for a good time, bro. There you go. Right. 100 years ain't really much, so. That was a bad question. I want to be able to live it as best as I can. What is that, um? Gracie been doing it since he was not over 90, grappling with everybody, showing moves and stuff, right? He kept moving, bro. I bet you he was taxing in the bed. Right. <laughs> he had to be. Bro. No, because I honestly <laughs> think that's like a silent killer. Like, people who aren't sexually active late in their life, I think they die off, bro. And if you see someone like Hugh Hefner lived to his 80s, he was banging all in his bro. 70s. All these, if you look at a man who's thriving in their 70s, they're banging. Facts. Yep. Very active, very active sexual lifestyle. That's right. They're fulfilling so, yeah, their. I mean, that's definitely why he plans too. I think I feel like I'm younger. I'm I'm gonna be 36 this year. I'd beat my 26 year old ass up, bro. I know I would. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I I just know it, but you know I have to like again. It's a calculated risk. So we're in this fight competition. I gotta take care of my body. So. I'm a little Shout worried. I'm not to gonna want to pick a need for starting <laughs> well, that health train for me. Well, I'm married. I'm gonna, you know, when you're married, you, you're gonna have to have sex with uh, as as you age. You're gonna have to have sex with another eighty. If you're eighty years old, you have to have sex with another eighty year old. So right. maybe that's why eighty year old men <laughs> chase chase the younger <laughs> women. Bro, this is the trick, right? If you're yeah. single, if y'all single, find a girlfriend that'll want other girls with you. Then you won't Facts. ever cheat on her because you'd be like, oh, you know what I mean? Okay. Right? They're like, oh. I seen fucking Sean O'Malley's <laughs> girlfriend on Tinder. I was like, bro, this guy is oh. winning. <laughs> right? you know yeah. And, and that's true, though. Oh. Hey, uh, hey uh, they're on Tinder because I think they swing. Oh, that's bro, right. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. bro, this guy is winning, right? Imagine you get one girl. He's just like, babe, let's fuck the shit out of this girl and then yeah. leave her. Like, nah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they're all on the same page, right? You know, they they on, they on team. I'm like, you're not going to leave that, bro. Right. Right. You're an idiot if you need that. <laughs> yeah, it's a little different when you're 80, though. Yeah, yeah. You know, my wife's going to also yeah. be 80. So I'm like, I don't know. I think, I think that's like one of the biggest, biggest things, too. I think that's the biggest threat. I don't think when women get older, as they get older, they're not, they don't want to look more beautiful. They want youth. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the one. Like, you know what I mean? If you, yeah. if you 40 and you're checking out on 21 year old, they're going to be insulted as fuck. Right, yeah. because it's the youth thing to me. So I think you got to know how to choose your battles wisely. Yeah, that's in true. In that sense, when it comes to, you know, you're, yeah, you know, like I, like most girls I see now, they're just trying to be youthful. They're not trying to look pretty. They're trying to look young. There's a difference. 
Oh, right? right, and I think that's the big insecurity. Mm, and you know, gosh. I'm gonna keep your girl youthful. Then I think I think you'd be on the right path. Yancey has a lot of wisdom, bro. Remember, it's, it's not about beauty; <laughs> it's about feeling young. It's the sight is compromised. The vision is clear. Yeah, there, that's right. The sight is compromised. Yeah, the vision's clear. I love the vision it. is clear. Yeah. Hey, bro. Yeah. Uh, uh, real quick, so you you've been a teammate of the Diaz brothers for a long time. He's fighting Jake Paul. It's eight rounds, uh, ten ounce gloves. How, how do you see this fight going down? Diaz wreck train, bro. Everyone okay. always, everyone always, I think, what is it? They don't, they always misjudge him. They always misjudge Nate. They don't think he has, like, good IQ boxing. I'm like, why does he look the way he looks when he fights? And why does he top these guys up? I'm like, they don't know it until they know it. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? They don't, they don't know. You don't know what you don't know until you get it there. And you're like, ah, oh, <laughs> I've, I've done enough rounds with Nate to be like, yep, oh, here it comes. Right, right. Yeah, oh, yeah. But up, oh, oh, the two's coming right down the pipe. Boom, boom, there it is. When, when they start <laughs> gassing, he starts, you know, warming up. Bro, when, 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 yeah, exactly. When they're stressing, he's resting. You know yeah. what I mean? He's, ah, okay, prime. Now, now it's go time. Yeah, Jake's never been so a good guy. Rounds, that has dude, that I cardio. think it would be great if it was 12. You know what I mean? Because right. I know Nate would want that. But, right. you know, Jake ain't ready for that. So, so eight so is good for more for Jake. Uh, obviously, you're rolling with your boy Nate, but you know by train wreck. Do you think he finishes him? Will he be the first oh, guy yes. to finish Jake Paul? Like, because Jake Paul hasn't been knocked yeah. out. He's had seven yeah. fights. Yeah, yeah. Nate can box, bro. Nate yeah. is a boxer, and he will box. He will box Jake to a finish. If Jake tries to fight him, bro, he's going out. Anybody that tries to fight the Diaz boys always. That's not their. That that's the the losing route bro that's the think about route. it people right. that actually try and fight them like real fight like school no. fight like street fight they're done like yeah, you got- I mean, just get in there i mean you can be evasive be tactical have a game plan that's all good but if it was a fight and there's no time limit bro you're dying you know what i mean and that's the thing time I like save that. time save time save the fighters right so they lose the bout they don't lose the fight yeah, Yancey's giving us very good insight here. Um, the the last I checked, Nate was an underdog. So are you saying bet the house on Nate Diaz? Oh man, hey, I don't. I'm not a betting man, but yeah, I am. I, I mean, yeah, I I don't bet, but bro, um, they, you don't bet. Well, I didn't know he was the underdog. Well, that's, we're, that's very very. Surprising. Well, the odds came out yesterday, and the initial first odds they had Nate like at plus two hundred, plus almost two to one underdog. So, I'm thinking about just going big. I hope people jumped on that. Is it still that high? Is yeah, it, or how, pro, pro, how, like, it'll get lower, close down closer down. to the fight. It'll probably adjust, but they started it off with Nate, more down. They started it with Nate as wow. a two to one underdog. So you can make a lot of money if you bet Diaz. You yeah, know what I, mean? I mean, yeah. It's, yeah, I'm fucking Nate all the way, bro. Even if that's bias, I don't give a damn, bro. Nate 100. Now, now you do fight next week in April 22nd. Do you plan on making yeah. a trip to Stockton and being one of Nate's sparring partners for this Jake Paul fight? Oh, I mean, just I'll be there for whatever, bro. I'll be a, fuck, I'm I'm not brother, bro. I'm there to protect right. the pack, be a sparring partner, be his bag boy, whatever it is, bro. Make like, the make bro, the espresso shots. When you marry a unit, you make it a unit, you know, and then the objective is just to get there. Right. You know what I mean? Everybody has a role and has a job when 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 everyone's in camp. You know what I mean? I know my role and job is just to be there and fill in the gaps. Hey, right. you the partner here I am. Like I ain't over here trying to put in, oh, this is my place. I'm here because I want to be a part and help. So right, right. just I just stay there. you know what I mean? Whatever he need, I'm there. You well, might you step in with some sparring. Like, because yeah, you, for sure. Cause, cause, yeah, cause, like yeah. always, always. But because you're saying you want to be on the, like, yeah, you're saying you want to be on the card. Who do you want to fight? Is there is there a name out there? Who intrigues bro, you? Anybody, anybody. Please, there's one of Jake's team members. Please. There's, the yeah, there's got to there's got to be someone out there. Like, is there a name? Is there you know? I haven't. I've bro. I once once I seen Nate on the boxing. I'm like, I don't give a fuck who it is. Give me somebody that think that's gonna like. Think, oh, think they're gonna beat me? I don't give a damn. Like, bro, right. I train hard. I train good. I'm trained right. I'm ready. So, so, so anyone in Nate's team? I mean, uh, I'll think of a name. I'll think of a name, but I don't to mind some YouTubers. Different times, right? right now. <laughs> some bro, YouTubers. the times is different, bro. Thirty right. years ago, you would never have Mike Tyson co-maining a YouTuber. Right. That is not ever happened. It's a whole different time, bro. Get with it. I, it's not about ego and about what was happening or all this. Bro, Mayweather's on it. He knows what he's doing. Bro, the man is retired making millions right. doing sparring matches, bro. Like, 
Let me get on that. Please, I have some bills I would love to pay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if you have any what, what insight you have on this, but Max Holloway was asked about, since we're talking about you know Nate's boys fighting on the card, Max Holloway was asked about yep. that yesterday at the media day, and he said that uh, the reason why it took so long for this fight to get made was because Nate was trying to get you know some of his boys on the card, trying to make sure that... that well, of, the most, I, think, I think for the most part... Nate was trying to get his money's worth and not get his full value, getting paid his full value. And whoever arrives with him is going to, is going to be a part of that too. Right. But Nate's always been like that. And only the boys know that. Like, right. you know, he's always been like that. You know, like Nate, Nate, Nate was taking care of me, game up there and there throughout the whole COVID. Not, you know what I mean? Financially, not a big much, but hey, trying to help as much as he can and whatever he can. And he's yeah. like that now. It's bigger than just him. That's what people don't understand that. And, a That's team why I ride with him. Yeah, team mentality, always looking out for his people. Yeah, he's not a boss, bro. He's a leader. You know what I mean? He's not the guy telling you, oh, go here, go there. And he walks it. And he walk. oh, we're going this way, bro. Come through if you can. All right, you don't want to then. See you later. So there's a difference. And, you know what I mean? Wherever he leads, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely always be there to protect him. Nice. Um, yeah, because Jake has a couple teammates, uh, Jaylion Love. You, you know who that is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I seen him. I know those guys. Well, what what weight does that guy fight? Yeah, he's a little bigger now. He put on some size. I think you know. Oh, uh, yeah, he got that celebrity weight on. Uh. Yeah, yeah, he, <laughs> he got the. Well, he's a co he's a co he's, he's a coach now. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to find you an opponent here. Um, yeah, bro. Hey, but, but listen, Andrew, that's that's not my job. You know how to mix it up. Start, start, start. You know. Yeah. Start, right, I'm a, hey, trip, Yancey, bro. I'm gonna find you an opponent. Um, yes. Yeah, because I, I think Jaylion's focused on coaching right now. He he is Jake Paul's coach, but yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That's sick though. That's it's super sick that it's going to be like Team Diaz. Yeah. Very and, um, very fortunate. Shout out to uh, Mike Colgan and um, from Bellator and yeah Scott Coker giving me um letting me have these opportunities to you know they feel bad. They make it simple yeah. for me. Yeah, they make it they make it simple and they made my my career choices much more more open and better and they just keep it real with me and. Shout out to them again, but I really appreciate them letting me just be a mixed martial artist and you know yeah. be a prize fighter and let me do what I can for get my take care of my responsibilities. Yeah, no, I hear that about uh, a lot about uh, Scott Coker and, and his team. Like they're very flexible and they allow you fighters to kind of do, you know, you well, can. Well, yeah, I mean, like like allowing the box, you know, and asking, you know, yeah. like I have a great relationship with them, and I ask them like them if yeah. you know what what's in are these things possible for me to do? And they're like, bro, make your money. You know, yeah. in that sense, like they really care about us getting out there and doing the best for us, even if it's not with their promotion. And I really, really appreciate that. Now, now April 22nd, you fight, uh, what, nine days from now. Um, you clearly see yourself getting the victory uh, then, uh, then transitioning to boxing for this summer, summer card. Just for that part. I mean, I'll, 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 I got a, I got a three fight contract with, with Bellator. So, yeah. I want yeah, to just stay busy. So and, um, then you'll be back to Bellator, yeah. Yeah, I'll be back. I mean, you know, whatever, I get a good um, good finish on this next month and then fight in boxing, get a good finish there. We see where the, where, where the road takes us from there. But I got to – I ain't looking past Charlie. You know, I'm excited to box. I very, I am, but I got an objective in nine days, bro. Yeah. And I can't have this Englishman doing deja vu, coming over <laughs> here, doing whatever, like to the Hawaiians and leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, well, hey, hey, you just last fought. Oh, no, you ain't doing that again, bro. All right. You already took it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is that some type of history lesson he's, he's giving us right with the with the Englishman? Um, yeah, it's, it's a deep, deep, good reference. Okay, so what? Yeah, Fill yeah, me okay. in. I, okay, colonization, I'm, bro. It's typical colonization, bro. Oh, colonization. <laughs> yeah. oh okay, okay. We're colonizers. Yeah, bro, you didn't you know understand. I mean? we're, we're a couple of colonizers yeah. that don't understand a colonization joke, you know? Yeah. You're a colonizer. Yeah, don't, I am a col don't, I'm a colonizer. Don't, All right. Yeah. Don't, yeah, yeah, don't, yeah, don't yeah. add yeah. me into that. You colonize me, yeah, yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you colonize me. Oh man. Damn. I'm an immigrant than a colonizer. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's Damn. Yeah. Uh, so are you are yeah. you gonna catch the Ryan Garcia tank fight after your fight? Oh bro, I've been looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to that. That's yeah. that's a that's a very interesting fight. Who, who yeah, you got in like that both one? Fighters. You like both, right? I like both of them, bro. But I mean, if I have to choose one, Tank. Tank. I feel, I feel, I feel Tank. Um, not taking away from Brian Garcia's skills, but I feel Tank. 
came from the I know Tank from the boxing side of the world, right? I know Ryan Garcia from the viral side of the world. Not taking away from his skills, not at all, but he's right. fucking badass. But right. I'm just saying, like, I know Ryan, I knew of Tank with his history in boxing. I knew of Ryan from Instagram. Like, oh yeah. shit, this kid's good. You know, like I was hearing Tank's name from the get already, from undercards and whatnot. And right. then Ryan, I was introduced to him in the last, you know. Then yeah. again, like I said, different times, bro. Yeah, that There's makes sense. Times. Yancey breaks it down yeah, real so, well. Right. And that, 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 well, that, well, that's my observation. Right. No, because Ryan's I, always I uh, like world star hip hop's always posting him. You always have the blogs posting his speed workouts and his like. Right, right. He's his very bad smart. He knows how to get him, his brand out, right? And yeah. his brand for me, he's, his brand was made more viral through his social media. Through social media, yeah. He's huge. Again, he's huge skills. on social media, yeah. Tank, bro. Tank was made from the, from the ring. <laughs> You know what I mean? Right. Like all his high, everything occurred there. Oh, how you know Tank? I know him from boxing. I don't know. I knew Ryan, like I said, I know Ryan from social media. Right, right. Yeah, that's how I got introduced to Ryan Garcia. That, oh, yeah, no, no. Oh, shit. Yeah, I completely understand. That's how a lot you of people know? got introduced yeah, to Ryan. But, but Ryan, I, in, right. in his defense, I think he's been boxing since he was like 10 years old or something. Yeah, right? but I think, yeah. I think yeah. like yeah. seven yeah. years yeah. old. Yeah. Seven right. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just saying, like, I think he just capitalized right. on the, on the right. social media part and got exposed even faster because. I feel like there's probably guys under the radar that just don't have the highlight reels to get exposure. Yeah. Right? And they, they've been putting in the work in boxing for years and years and years. So it's always like the right timing of shit. But yeah, I, I was like, fuck, bro. Tank got sauce, bro. Yeah. They, they call him, <laughs> you know they call him like mean? a mini Mike Tyson, but probably better. more bro, A little more like, skilled. Like, like, no, bro. There's people that got juice, bro. But juice is like liquid. You know, sauce is like sauce bro like you know what i mean it's just substance <laughs> sauce it, right? has, uh, like nate got substance nate got sauce yeah nate got you know sauce I mean? yeah yeah saucy you know what i mean like Facts. you know like people got like juice like kobe coffee did he got juice you know what i'm saying right, right. it's like he's got like i don't know yeah, he's i'm saying i'm not saying he's not good but i'm saying it's like there's just a difference. There's a difference in the, in the substance of it. You know what I mean? I, no, I, I, under, I understand. I understand exactly what you're saying. I think Ryan has the sauce too, but you're right. Tank does have the sauce. Yo, no, 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 I no, think, no, no. I do definitely think that if Ryan beats Tank, that's definitely. It. I'm I like, think. Oh, yeah. nah, I think everybody's gonna I, see I, that Ryan has the sauce, sauce in this fight. Right, right. Yeah, if Ryan wins and beats him, hey, yeah, he proves himself, bro. Great, like just fuck. I'm a fan of both. Uh, yeah. You know what really stuck with me, Tank? I was watching these. Um, I was watching them. Um, you know those pre-fight vid, the ones like they do the hype up videos and whatnot. And I see him doing sprints, bro. Right? And I've run so much over the years. I'm like, wow, we go see how long this guy's sprinting. I think he gonna stop about up there, right? And he's just, and I'm like, oh yeah. And bro, he just keeps going and he doesn't slow down. I was like, oh no, nah, this guy. This guy is explosive as hell. You're, like, you know, you're talking I mean, about like, Tank? Like, yeah. Tank, bro. Yeah. yeah, like Tank. I just seen how he sprints, and I'm like, you can see, like, when people run and all that, they'll have a cadence, and then they'll slow down a little. And then I was watching him just doing these the videos. I was like, ah. He's got that third bro, long, that, right? He got some legs, bro. He's he got, different. He can run, bro. Yeah, he's, he's, he's explosive as hell, because yeah. I've seen it. I was like, ah, yeah. Now I know why he knocking fools out, bro, for sure. He got right. power. He's explosive. But I really seen it from that. Well, at least um, yeah. not just from his highlights. But so, so your pick, your pick is tank. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Your your pick is tank. Tank. Yeah, I go with tank. I like that for like sure. You, yeah. Were you saying? But, just bro, no, I was I saying Tank's got that fight. third lung. He's got that third lung. Oh no, we heard that. that. We heard that. That's all I was saying, fight, bro. Yeah. Adversity to me, adversity is it. You can go through adversity and then you can come back, bro. You get my respect because that's a fighter. Right. right, like I, all the guys that can knock guys out is cool, but hey, get hurt and then come back. Oh, you got more of my respect. That's that's gonna, I'm gonna give you that for sure. So I want to see that. That's what I want to see in the fight. I want to mm -hmm. see adversity. I want to see these guys get hurt and come back, both of them. <laughs> I, I hear you. Hey, Yancey, uh, just but boxing is it's hard. Boxing is different, bro. It's way more, right. way more. There's way more depth in there. You know what I'm saying? And right. not getting hurt. That's why box to me is like, bro. It's a it's a it's a class of its own. It's not about how much output. It's about hitting and not getting hit and how good you are doing that. So I, I really respect those the chess game they have in there. Well, you're about to be the in there August August fifth. You're about to be on the Nate Diaz Jake Paul card. Maybe Dallas so Texas. we're we're about to see Yancey Madero's boxing too. That'll be dope. Bring that Hawaiian heat. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and, and, and not to be cheesy here, 
Um, I, I just find Hawaii super intriguing. It's one of the most beautiful places in the world. So, so I, I do want to yeah. hit you with some Hawaiian questions real quick. You know, uh, you guys got any yeah. Hawaiian questions? Like, uh, the, the best what? island is what? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> the one I am on. The one he's on. <laughs> no, I mean, it's like in Cali, right? You're like, bro, what is better, North or SoCal? Depends where you at, right? Oh, right. Be right. I'll say, so, I'll say, right? I'll say SoCal. Like, see, exactly. Nate ain't gonna say that, right? <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, we just oh. lost him on here. What up, bro? I got this black. Sorry. Oh, oh we're back. Is. We're back. We're back. We're not. We're not recording. Oh, I guess really quick on the on the top. Huh? Of what happened? You know what the fuck going on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I guess... Uh, hey, uh, that's okay right there. Yeah, for a shit. Say what's up to Yancey. Well, you gotta... Falala! What's up, Falala? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He can't see because we have this thing off. Can you hear me? Here, there you go. Yeah. Can you hear him? What's up, Palala? What's happening? What are you guys already gone? Are you guys Can I hear him? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. There you go. I got it. I got yeah, it. My bad. Jesse's, Jesse's fucking, fucking up. up. No, it's no, not. It's yeah. What's up, Palala? Well, I see you next, I see you next week. <laughs> you can't hear us. You can't hear us because we're on the we're on the headphones. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> All right, I'll hit you. I'll hit you in a bit. I'll hit you in a bit. All right, peace. All right, peace. We're not. We're not even live, bro. We're not. We're, this is not even recording. No, but this is not even live, and re, this is not even recording. No, since we're not even live, bro. We're just bullshitting right now with Yancey. <laughs> this is alert. Huh? All right, all right, peace. All right, peace. No, but uh, we're not even recording right now. We're fucking just. We were wrapping it no, up. No, that's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what were we saying there? We were talking about Hawaii, the best islands in Hawaii. and then Questions, questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Max Holloway. Oh, okay, how's, how's about this? I'll give you a good answer. If you're single, come to Oahu. If you get your family, go to the other islands. <laughs> okay. No, to the islands. Oahu okay. got more of the nightlife. Right? But if you're with your family, married, you want to that, Maui, Kauai, Big Island, that's all good places to go and visit and get a little bit of a look of Oahu. Oahu. I mean, of Hawaii, but Oahu is fun too, but I would always say like single can nightlife Oahu. Okay, cool. Yeah. I yeah, my bad, Yancey. We got a lot of technical difficulties over here. I don't know if it's the shrooms or fucking what's going on, but you know <laughs> what I mean? Good, brother. But, uh, hey, thank you, bro. You, uh, you're a great guest. Funny as hell. Thank you for having me. Uh, good luck. Good luck next weekend. And uh, we we can't yeah. wait to see you on the on the on, you know on August fifth on that card. It's gonna be pretty Thank sick. Thank you, bro. Thanks Think of a name, bro. Updates, bro. It's like fighting. You guys make it easy, bro. I'm always tuning in. So Thank, Thank you, guys. bro. I appreciate. Oh, it. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. For sure, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Later, Later Yancey. Yancey. Awesome. Hello. Peace out, bro. Thank you for joining us, uh, Yancey Medeiros. Hilarious. Awesome. That guy's funny. You know, straight from Hawaii. His vision is comprom his sight was compromised, but his vision is intact. What did he say? Uh, his sight is compromised, but his vision is clear. Yeah, that's a great deep. line. That's deep. I'm gonna great use line. that. Yeah. I, I took that with me. Yancey's one of those guys where you know, veteran fighter, but he does impart a lot of wisdom and just like that. I mean, I'm not even I'm not even capping right now. That was a solid line. And we know more about his uh, coffee drinking dietary habits thanks to Dante. Of course. Thanks for joining yeah. us, Yancey. <laughs> Let me tell you something about Andrew. This is my boy right here. You disrespect him, you're disrespecting me. Inside fighting, shout out to inside fighting.